for me, why is it important? Why do I feel it's important for an editor to have a laptop? I knew I needed to upgrade some equipment. I started analyzing what pieces do I need to invest into first, and I felt like I can't create the media if I don't have something to edit it on. So the most important piece to my setup was my computer. Originally, I had a 2014 build MacBook Pro. Computer worked absolutely fine, but struggled when it came to 4K footage. Now I did start creating proxy videos and that helped some, but still, I remember completing the edit for Gunna Otep. The video encode took about 23 hours. So in the review I did on the Dell Latitude laptop, my old office laptop, that my employer allowed me to put Premiere Pro on, did a couple videos, and to my surprise, they worked out very well. However, once I purchased the computer from the job, didn't quite work the same way. And thus, I sold it. Wasn't doing me any good. Get my bread back, and I did. And I sold that computer because I knew I still had the old G5 Mac Pro Tower. It has two quad core Intel Xenon processor. So it's actually an eight core machine. 16 gigabytes of RAM, has a Nvidia graphics card, not too bad. Here's the problem. Processors are 12 years old. I am primarily an Adobe user. And because of my processor and my operating system being so old, I cannot update my Creative Cloud software past the 2018 version on the G5 tower. So it's a bit of a challenge here. You continue to, it's not broke, you continue to go as you are, but again, when it comes to 4K footage, and now I'm shooting on the A63, which means a lot more of these projects are being shot in this, this higher resolution, this computer is also struggling. When I'm grading footage, that's when I see the, the most struggle out of the Mac Tower. As y'all have seen in a bunch of these videos, I got multiple kids. I got a preteen and a two-year-old, so they are still heavily running in my pockets. I don't have a great amount of money to go out and update to one of the latest Macs. These things are like used cars. To get one specced out the way I need it for film, would probably start somewhere around three grand. Would just be an awesome machine and would be able to handle whatever I throw at it. I'm probably looking in the four to five thousand dollar range. I'm not trying to finance a car in a computer when I can get something equally as good if I just go back windows. So look, I'm not partial to Mac. I dig it. Macs are great. Using Adobe on a Mac, it just seems to be optimized a little better. But again, you put a pair of Reeboks on, you walk down the street the same way you do in a pair of Nikes. It's just preference, right? So me doing my research, I knew what I was looking for spec-wise in the computer. I knew how much RAM I needed. And upon me searching, I finally came across this Dell Precision 7520. It was built specifically for video editing spec wise. 2018 build Intel quad core i7, 32 gigs of RAM, and it also has two graphics cards. My good graphics card, and the whole reason I purchased this computer was an NVIDIA. Quadro M2200. This is a four gigabyte graphics processing unit. From all the research that I have done when it comes to video editing machines, everybody is saying you wanna stick with an Intel processor. You wanna go with a NVIDIA graphics card. I got both of those things in this machine. So I took a chance, I purchased this computer and I must say, this was absolutely the smartest buy that I have made in my business thus far. 
Now with that said, why do I feel it's important for an editor to have a laptop? I think this is a situation of preference. You only need a computer. Me being a stay at home parent, having a two year old who is super duper active, loves to be outdoors. It is very difficult for me to edit when I wanna edit. But when you have, you know, a growing two year old that needs to learn and needs attention and needs to be fed and you are daddy daycare, you gotta stop and go cook hot dogs and make chicken nuggets and cook spaghetti and go outside and fix the chain on the bike and, you know, walk him down the street. You gotta do all of these things. I can't do these things sitting in my office behind my desktop. I can manage to do some of these things if I can be mobile on a laptop so that now I can continue to edit throughout the daytime when my wife is at work and my son wants to go outside and ride his bike. Another reason why it was important is because when I do out of town shoots, I was working on a set to where I was hired to be the DIT or the digital imaging technician and I didn't have a laptop. Now I communicated this out to the director of the shoot and they ensured me that they would have a laptop available for me. But again, this might not be the situation on every job that you go and do. Some of these companies might call you expecting you that you have your own equipment. I was just fortunate that they were lenient enough to allow me to use one of their computers. I looked at this as like, this was a big no-no. Like, I looked very bad showing up to do a job that required a laptop and not having one. So again, that was the importance of me personally having a laptop and not solely working from my desktop. If you agree with my points, having a laptop is important so you can be mobile. Let me know that by dropping it down in the comments below. If you like this shirt, and you absolutely feel like you got to have one in your life, then type merchandise or merch down in the comments below. I will see that and I will get back with you on how you can purchase these shirts. It is awesome. I appreciate your time every single time I get on YouTube. As always, I am absolutely thrilled that you are here watching my content, that you find it valuable, and that you continue to see the value in the content that I'm bringing you. If there is specific content that you want, things that you want me to research, things that you want me to talk about, let me know that by dropping it down in the comments below. Reach out to me on Instagram, reach out to me on Facebook. I will definitely respond to you. So again, thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And as always, the grind defines your work ethic. If you continue to grind hard, then you will meet expectation every single time. Peace, love, and light, and we will catch y'all on the next video.